I'm going to show you how I like to organize my Figma files for large product design projects. I've tried many different ways of doing this, but this is the absolute best way to do it that I know of. This is how we used to organize files at my previous job at Citibank, so it's been tested thoroughly in an enterprise setting, but it's also going to work very well for any kind of team or company. The main benefits that you'll get from following the structure are each of your designs will be very easy to find, it will be very obvious what stage each design project is in, and you'll have a clear history of each handoff and iteration as time goes on. I'm going to post a link to the file templates in the description below so you can start using this structure immediately. And now I'm going to show you what each of these files look like and give you a more in-depth explanation of how to use it. So here's how you're going to split up the folders in your project. So each section or feature or bit bigger feature in your app is going to be split up into its own folder. So let's say that you're working on a software as a service app that has a dashboard, analytics page, settings page, and profile page. Each of those would be split up into four different folders like you see here. So you would just have something like this, but duplicated four times. So now I'll get into the folder and show you how the, the main files work. So the main files that you're going to have are your main project file and your archive files. So the project file is what you're going to be working in day to day, where you're going to be iterating on, on designs, you're going to be exploring different concepts, doing reviews, and then doing handoffs. And then you're going to have your archive file for all previous handoffs from a, a project. And then you can also have multiple project files within a folder. So if this is one big section of an app, like let's say this is a dashboard folder, for example, you could have multiple different projects going on within that dashboard. So let's say you have the main dashboard screen, and then you also have different screens that appear as modals within that dashboard. So those can each be their own different project files. So you can have uh, multiple project files, multiple archive files within a folder. Now I'll click into a project file and show you how this works. So we click into it and we have a cover page that works as a, a status indicator to show where, where, what stage of the project it is in. So I have it set as sandbox, review, or handoff. You can customize this however you want, but I think this works pretty well. So sandbox would be when the project is in the early stages where you're coming up with different concepts and figuring out how that design could work. And then once you have some concepts ready to show to the team, then it will move to review. And then once that those designs are approved, then it would move to handoff. So the way that you, you uh, set the indicator here is you just click into each of the pills and then you can turn on or off this blue fill over here. So that allows you to easily change the status indicator. And then on the sidebar, you can see that we have different sections for handoff, review, and sandbox. So I'll show you what to do for handoff first. So we have two different files within here. So we have annotations and specs, and then we have the clean designs. So the way that I like to do this is that you're going to hand off one version that has different notes, any kind of specs that you need to include, such as padding or margin numbers. And then I also included this frame here that's a quick note about what's new in this file. So when you're handing this off to developers, that's very helpful for them to see so that they can just get a quick overview of what's different about this file versus the handoff before. And then the clean designs would be just only the designs without any notes, without any sort of, um, and without any, anything else besides the designs on this file. Next, you'll have your review files. So I would suggest coming up with some name for each review. So let's say you're doing a cross-functional design review. So name it that right here, cross-functional design review, 
and then put the date right next to it. And if you have multiple reviews that you're doing for a project, then just add more files right here within this review section. And next you'll have the sandbox. So these can be pretty messy files here where you're just coming up with different ideas that will eventually go into a review file. So that's everything for the working project files. And now I'll show you what the archives look like. So you'll click out of the project file, go back to home and then click into archived. So I have a different background here. This is just a transparent background on the cover page, just to show that it's different from the working project files. So we'll just show archived here. No, no need to change anything on the cover. And then over on the sidebar, you're just going to have either handoff files from each previous version, or you can include handoff and review files here in the archives, whatever you think is, is going to be helpful. So, I would suggest just copying and pasting everything from prior handoffs and moving it over here, making sure to include the date of each handoff. So you can look back here and have a clear record of everything that was handed off within this different section or feature. So that's about everything for this whole template. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you quickly. Thank you for watching.